Hello, good morning world. Um, so today happened to be one of the days where I have nothing to do. There are gonna be times once you're on the route um, that you barely have anything to go out with. As you guys can see, this is what my truck looks like. And this is just my second stop. My order was only for $300. My first stop was $250. So it's, you know, it's not much product because the, the, the bags are the prices. I mean, the, the prices of the bags, I'm going backwards. The prices of the bags are so much money now. I mean, one bag of chips is $5. That's insane. Inflation is ridiculous now. Well, that's the way the world goes now. So, I mean, it is what it is. It used to be 50 cents years ago when my grandfather's worked. But, uh, so now I gotta, my next door opens about eight and I have an hour. So I'm gonna clean the truck. to do it now. I should have started later. Um, this would be a good time to talk about the pros and the cons, but there's something I want to write down. I don't want to like talk about it in this video and then talk about something else in another video. I want to make one video and talk about it. I'm not like I'm not saying this job is all sweet. Every job is sweet and sour. Just like any relationship is sweet and sour. Right. <sighs> Amazing. But, um... Just saying, like... What am I supposed to talk about today? Huh? Organize this truck. Most of you guys listen and subscribe to my channel. No, I'm not getting any money from Freedom Way. This is not. This is something I'm doing because I, I like to do it. I like to put the information out there. That's it. Got my broom. If you guys got a truck like this, or any trucks, I have a broom with you because it's gonna get dirty. For some reason, I'll clean my truck out twice a week and then it's dirty again. It's as if people in the warehouse just take a whole big dump of garbage can and put it in my truck. I don't get it. I'll sweep once I go to, once I go to the next door. I'm gonna go to my Lidl and pack out since I'm here. Might as well do something with my time. Right across the street. I could walk there, but I don't feel like parking in front of this bagel store. My gosh, freaking oily. Literally right there, like 10 feet away. All right, I'm going to go into my Lido, pack out. The back stock, don't have a delivery, a delivery for them. And um, I'll catch you guys in the next. All right, so I was here yesterday. Let's see the damage. It's probably not much. Yesterday I delivered, uh, Fifteen hundred dollars. Let's see what it looks like. How many people came to buy some drugs? 
okay, all right. It's not bad. I got three grand coming on Saturday. Today's Friday. Well, today's Thursday. I'm bugging. And I just want a weekend to be here already. And I only work, I work six days, so I just lose track you know, of the days, the dates. The year's about to be over. Morning. Morning. Anybody packed out. I can't even get my stuff out. Crazy, amazing. So this is what to expect. You're gonna have to deal with this some days where you can't even get to your stuff. And I don't even have a hand truck. So I'm gonna end up making a box hand truck. Crap. This is why I have a cart. I have a cart because I wanna pull it out and go pack it out. Well, I got my product. Now I'm going to to the higher. This is gonna happen. This is what to expect. You're a merchandiser, you're a delivery guy, you're a driver, you're a sales rep. Yesterday I got into some kind of argument with one of my um, one of my stores, but I walked away, I didn't argue. Never argue, because it just escalated to something else. All right, you just let them say what they have to say, let them curse you out. Be like, have a good day, God bless you, see you tomorrow, peace. So today I walked in, they were like surprised that I actually came back with nothing bad to say about them. All right, let me go.
not so bad. I brought out the uh, restaurant style, but I don't need them. Up front, I'm trying to get less restaurant style. In this area, restaurant style don't sell much. Um, head of lime and scoop sells, but that's the thing, like, once you get a route, you have to be in a route long enough to know what sells. If you're just running around on your vacation, for vacation, or you just running around just because they have you on that route, you don't want to know exactly what sells, so don't feel like you're making a mistake. See, yeah. the next one on to the next one can somebody let me out because i need to move on all right i gotta find somebody to let me out because i'm stuck in here could you let me out right quick could you let me out all right now i can see my song no, no, I'm done. On to the next, on, on to the next one. It's hard to move on because you always regret to my uh, family dollar. I got, I don't know much, probably like a few hundreds, a couple hundreds. And then after that, I'll be going to my next door, Big Lots, which opens about nine. Oh, this headphone is always going on. Sometimes it's like this. I'm like, what's going on, bro? like a whole disturbed necklace. So, 
I got about 20 minutes. I want to just chill, listen to music, vibe, talk to you guys about whatever comes to my mind. I don't have a script. Um, that's about it, really. This is just one of those days that I'm just, I have nothing to do much. I don't have much to do. What's up with me today? I'm like backwards. Yesterday I was working in my car and my hands, it's because I used my gloves. I used my gloves yesterday to work on my car. No, I don't have a fancy car. I drive a 2001 Camry. Man, those cars are sweet, bro. I mean, I look like an old man driving it, but it gets me from A to Z and back to Z to A and A, B, C and all of that. One, two, three. But I was changing the the front brake pads and the rollers and the front uh, suspension. It took about two, two or three hours to do that. Then the oil change and the windshield wipers. I got this car last year and <clears throat> I had it for a year, I never did anything. I mean, I did the oil change, but everything else is like stop. So now it feels sweet. Today I gotta do the rear suspension. Oh, family dollar is open? All right, I'm gonna get going then. Somebody seems to be in there. They open at eight, I guess it's probably just a, um, the, the crew that comes in earlier just to set, set up the cash registers and just open up for business. Let me just stack this in the hand truck. I got like 10 cases. How are you guys doing today? So, if you guys are coming to Long Island, New York, Uh, you can mention my name once you go in an interview, Long Island, New York, or Queens area. Just mention my name, I guess. Once you, uh, they changed the, the, the training. I was eating some almonds. Something just came out of my mouth. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, they, they raised the training pay, so now if you want to train somebody, basically just show them whatever you do. Duh, that's just dumb. Um, <laughs> I gotta neck myself sometimes. Um, yeah, so they raised it to $50 a day, and that's uh, $250 for the week. But, catch is, you won't get that money until the person is certified. So I think the certification takes, uh, the training takes six weeks. So after six weeks, that's when you see that money. I think four weeks or six weeks. I haven't trained in a while. The last time I trained, uh, the person I trained, I don't know, he was a nutcase to everyone else. I mean, he was cool to me. We were cool. We had uh, in and out. That's what's gonna happen. You, you you're gonna train people that you never met. You never met them. So you for you to actually you have you have to get to that comfortable uh, that comfortable zone with the person. And we haven't had gotten there yet. So for a while he was doing whatever he wanted to do. So he thought he was right. And I'm trying to correct him, to let him know like, nah, this is the way you're supposed to do it. You might think, oh, I'm going for free to lay. I'm just packing out chips. No, no, man. There's a lot that comes with it a lot that comes with it so and, and we were clashing every time man we were clashing like this guy wanted to fight me and but then eventually you know he eventually he got it you know and and all you need basically is practice and he wasn't getting that so i mean god bless him i think he got a i don't know what he's doing now i think he's telling me he's doing something but that was like months ago then the guy before that he's actually doing pretty good he's still in the company it's been uh, three years and the guy before that uh, see when you come from a company where you're making 200 grand and then you come to Frito-Lay you're not gonna make 200 grand this is not a place for you to get rich this is a place for you to get by. You can make money, and if you, you know, you can make money, but 
You're not about to be rich. In my interview, that's what happened. When I was interviewed, cut that check. Cut that check. Give me that check. I need my check. I need my check. Cut that check. Oh yeah, so when I got, <laughs> when I was being interviewed, they asked me, um, are you are you are you in this company to get rich? And I told them. Um, it was like, oh, they were like, nah, you're not gonna get rich. You're gonna make so and so, which was twenty grand more than I was making working at when well, I was working at um, Home Depot and I was working at FedEx. And coming to Frito Lay, I was gonna make twenty grand more than both of them combined. I was like, sign me up. Cut my check, cut that check, get that check, get that check.